perfect. y'all it's just Tasha people y'all can call me Tasha if it's your first time here and you like what you see please hit the like button subscribe button comment down below and join my live streams I would love to say that I'm going live tonight I did go live earlier and I think I might be going live tonight so um welcome to the channel if you guys are new I appreciate you and if you are OG I appreciate you too um let's get into these taquitos so I have um I have something I want to talk about that's been happening or that has happened in the news lately um and i've wrote it written it down because i'm not good at y'all know when i tell stories i don't really tell them in chronological order and it's a lot so i'm gonna eat first then i'm gonna tell y'all what i want to talk about what i will tell you is that if you want to follow what i'm talking about look up sonia macy and or i'll just say look her up but let me eat first so, I got some taquito here, y'all. Well, you already saw the beginning. You already know. Let me get this one. This is just a ground meat taquito with cheese inside. Mmm. Well, that's great. Mmm. Mmm. I forgot I have some nacho chips that I want to eat this cheese with. Mm. I feel so at peace, you guys. I know I've said it, but I think that some of us belong in certain areas. And although I do love that life, I'm loving this humidity. I'm loving the sound of these animals. These I don't even know what they are. I think they're frogs. Y'all told me they were frogs. I thought they were ducks. They're wood frogs. So many cats around here that are happy. All they gotta do is jump over in this lake and grab a frog. And I feel bad for the frogs of this nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need some chips on the right back. At least I can do is finish chewing my food, huh? Mm. I know some of y'all don't like that half chew. Mm. Uh, I don't want to edit. Hold on. It's a nice big old bathroom, though, huh? Yes, I love it. I turn the camera on. Huh? I turn the camera on. Y'all subscribe to Fountain's Mom. She don't have a TikTok yet, but she gonna have one. I'm gonna have one. It's gonna be fun, y'all. That ain't the only thing she gonna have. We don't know yet. <laughs> she gonna she gonna figure it out. Well, we got some stuff. Put, what do you want I don't your know to put it on. Just put it here. You I want your top? Okay. Just put something. Just right here. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I don't even need any more. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just want them to hear me crunch a little bit. Did you taste that yet? She said, "Okay, I'm kind of good." It is right. Damn, I'm the best good. good. Oh, okay. So you, yeah. See? Talk to y'all later. Y'all don't see me, okay? Y'all don't see her. I mean, if y'all haven't seen her, y'all gonna see her. Mm. I mean, I already did a video with her. But she's gonna be on more videos. That, that's Fallon's mom, y'all, if y'all don't know. I met her before I met Fallon, if you guys don't know. Met her. Didn't know her, hang out with her or anything, but I met her. Um, Elijah was about three or four. And he's 20 now, so. 17 years ago. And I only met her briefly, but I knew about her because my girlfriend at the time and her were friends. And you would think, because you know, I dated older women, that it wouldn't have been one of my older friends, but no. That was mama's young at heart. Her friends are <coughs> our age. I mean, she got other friends too, but she be hanging with the youngsters. Cause she's still young. Mm. I really want to get into this story, but I don't want to be disrespectful to Sonia or Sonia and be chewing and all that while I'll tell her story. But 
No disrespect intended. I gotta get this out. So, the other day, as I'm scrolling on the internet, did I just do this? I feel like I did. Come across the story of yet another cop who, this is a trigger warning, this video will be a little graphic, not too graphic, but it will be a little something. So if you get triggered easily or if you get triggered by hearing about death or violence, click off. Mm. Okay, so. Mm. I'm gonna eat one more taquito. Cause I think I do wanna eat before. Mm. We did a video on Mila's channel, me and Fallon. If you guys would like to check it out, the link is in the community post. Finish this tequila. Oh, come on, tequila. Mm. So delicious. Y'all want to hear this? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So now I did not get a chance to watch all of the things that I wanted to watch, but I got enough information to speak on it and to ask your opinions. Mm. on it as well. And I want opinions from everybody. I want opinions from every race. I want to know why you feel the way you feel. I want to know everything because I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you. And I want you guys to share with me and share with each other in the comments. So, I'm going to read this as I wrote it. On July 6th, Sangamon, and I'm giving you guys all the details because I want you to, oh, excuse me. I want you to pay attention to the case. I want, I want you to know his name. I want you to know her name. I want you to know all the people involved and the locations and officials involved, okay? On July 6th, Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson shot and a black woman in the face after she called them to check for an intruder. What I did was went to find, cause I saw little clips on YouTube here and there. I saw clips on the internet here and there, but they didn't show much, you know, really 30 second clips, one minute clips, even five minute clips. I went and found the entire footage of the crime. Officer Sean Grayson was called to a house with another deputy. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. I didn't get his name. Was called to a house on July 6th for an intruder. Sonia Massey called them, 36-year-old black woman, that did have a history of schizophrenia, which was to, um Sorry, give me a second. I don't want to mess anything up. 
So, the officers went to her house. They looked around her backyard, looked around, kind of around, around the corner here and there, you know, all around her home. They didn't find anybody. This is from, got from the, I got from, I got this information from the camera, not from the person who shot her, but the other deputy. Ooh. The other, oh no, the other deputy, okay? After they check the surroundings and see that no one is around, the deputy who has the cam on, I'll just call him deputy, I'll call the Sean, okay? So the deputy knocks on the door like this. Nice knock, nice guy, whatever, knocks on the door. No one answers, they're waiting. He waits about 30 seconds to a minute, knocks again, something like that. No answer, a minute or two goes by, Sean comes up and he says to the deputy, you not, you doing love taps and he just, you know, bangs on the door. He's already, to me, showing a little bit of aggression and being a you know, so I can just tell her, you know, in the way that he's talking or whatever. So she still takes a minute. She takes a minute to get to the to the door. I'd say maybe three minutes pass by, two and a half, three minutes pass by. He knocks on the door a couple times. The, the deputy goes around the, the side of the house to see if she comes out or whatever. And she just doesn't come out. Sean says something like a hole -ish. I don't remember what it was. It was kind of pessimistic. The deputy said countered what he said with some optimism and I, like I said I don't remember what it was so I could already tell the difference between the two she comes to the door and they're like hey you good you good you know she when soon as she comes to the door she's already kind of scared of the cops I can tell she's like oh my god she was like Jesus Christ she was like oh my god you guys don't you know don't don't mess with me don't hurt me I didn't do anything or whatever whatever right and they're like you know it's good it's good are you okay they get to the point where she's like yeah I'm fine they were like well not that. Sean was like, well, you called us, you know. Now, don't do me verbatim. But he was like, you know, you called us. And she was like, yeah, I thought somebody was intruding. He was like, well, we checked everywhere and there's no intruder. And she was like, okay. She was, she got, was like, okay, cool, cool. She goes to, like, close her door. And what they did do when they first got there is there was a car in her driveway, kind of far back or whatever, that had a broken window. That has nothing to do with the situation, but maybe they thought maybe the intruder did. Anyway, so there's a, a car with a broken window. They're kind of investigating that a little bit, looking like he. Oh, that's what he did. He asked Sean asked her. He was like, "Well, whose car is that?" And she was like, "I don't have a car." And he was like, "Well, whose car is that in the driveway?" And she was like, "I don't know." And she was like, "They put it here and left it here, or whatever." So they go check the car to see if the car is stolen or whatever. Sean is still at the door with the woman. I don't know because the deputy is the one with the body cam on. I don't know how Sean was let into the house, but he entered her home. Deputy entered her home also. She had some boiling water on the stove. And so she sits down and they're trying to get her ID because they can tell, I'm sorry, before they even went in the house, he said, are you good? Because they seemed like they were gonna leave. He was like, are, are you good? She was like, yeah, you know, I took my medication. So that tells you right there, oh, this woman has me a mental illness. That's when you want to call somebody, in my opinion, that's when you want to call somebody that can handle it. Because you obviously couldn't, you so you obviously can't handle anything like that, you idiot but um didn't call anybody neither one of them deputy either didn't call anybody to 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 make sure she was okay or to handle her so they go in the house anyway i don't know how he was able to get in but he they go in the house and she is sitting down and she's telling them let me show you my paperwork let me show you my paperwork i could tell and i'm not a cop i'm not trained i could tell that she was trying to show them something you know because she was on the phone i know i'm going back but y'all gotta i'm doing the best i can she was on the phone when they walked in and she was telling them, hey, the police are here. I don't want to get off the phone with you. And the guy was like, well, the police are in there. He was like, well, talk to them. No, the police are, police are there to help you. And she was like, well, I don't feel comfortable. You know, I don't want to talk to them. And the guy was like, why? And the police was like, get off the phone or whatever. So she ends up getting off the phone. She's looking for her, whatever paperwork. So she asked, um, he asked her for her ID. And she was like, well, she just seemed kind of confused. And she was like, well, let me show you this paperwork. Let me show you this paperwork. So she was trying to show them the paperwork. And he was like, no, show me your ID first. So then she's like, well, I don't know where it is. And he's like, maybe it's in that stack. Okay. Maybe it's in the stack. So she's looking in the stack. And then Sean points to the other deputy. I'm not sure why, but I think he was saying there's boiling water on the stove. She gets up after he points. She gets up and she walks to the stove. And he was like, you know, we don't want a fire in here. I don't know how water, boiling water is going to start a fire, but okay. So she walks over to get the pot. And 
when she walks over to get the pot, they both backed up like she was gonna do something to them. She was not a threat, period. She wasn't a threat. They backed up like whatever, and then got giggled a little bit. Sean had giggled a little bit. And she was like, why y'all back up? And he was like, we don't wanna get hit, you know, we don't wanna get boiling water on us or something. And she was like, you don't wanna get boiling water on you. And she was like, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. He says, oh no, you don't. Or, oh no, don't do that, something like that. And he was like, I'll shoot you in the face. And she was like, then he just starts yelling. And she was like, like, what are you? She was like, no. And he was like, put the pot down, put the pot down. I'm sorry. That's what she says. I'm sorry. She goes down on her knees. And then he proceeds to pop her right in the face. Uh, he told her he was going to, he told her he was going to do exactly what he did. Popped her right in the face, right under the eye. And after he does that, he's like, well, you know, I had to. I didn't want to get boiling water on me. I'm not going to take boiling water to the face. She was kneeling. The gun, the bullet went in her eye, through the back of her neck, went down. Because if you're going through the eye, it goes, it's going to go straight out. You're kneeling down. It goes like this, you know, and she's kneeling. She's a small woman. He's a big, burly bastard, okay? She's a little bitty woman. He towered over her. I remember watching when he first got there. He I don't know how you can look at somebody that is so much smaller than you, just in general, but also so much smaller than you and is a woman and is feminine and not feel compassion and love and protection for them. But monsters don't, monsters don't do that. Racist monsters don't do that. He sees her as, he saw her as nothing because I guarantee you that if she was a white woman, he wouldn't have done that. And it's a sad reality, but that's what it is. That is exactly what it is. So anyway, let me just read y'all what I wrote real quick. Okay, so I said, the video that I watched Grayson and his fellow officer look around the outside of Sonya's house for a few minutes before approaching her door and knocking on it. They wait a couple of minutes for her to answer and she's visibly nervous or skeptical of them. She asked them to please not hurt her. Massey seemed a little preoccupied with her phone because she was nervous, but very calm and mild mannered. They established that there was no one around and she was fine with that and told them that she loved them. Grayson accusingly asked her, oh, he was like, what took you so long to come to the door? And she was like, oh, I was trying to get my robe on, sorry, okay? So, but he was being a jerk already. So she was wearing a robe. As the fellow officer was ending the call, Grayson decided to ask her if she was mentally okay. She answered yes and said that she had been taking her, she has been taking her meds. He does that to her. She's laying on the ground, bleeding out. He says, let me go get my med kit, even though it don't even matter. He was like, that's a headshot. So, you know, she's done, but she wasn't. Deputy goes to her, I'm assuming he plugs her wound and She's gasping for air for minutes, minutes upon minutes, because I watched the actual video. She's gasping for air and he's keeping her, trying to keep her alive. The goes outside to get a med kit and he tur then turns his camera on or turns the volume on or whatever. And, and before he did it, before he turned his camera on, he was like, oh, the water, he was trying to kind of make it seem like it was her fault. But then his deputy was like, oh, it's cool. I got the camera on the whole time. So I know that's when he realized he had fucked up. So he goes outside to get the med kit, but he's so scrambled, I guess, because he's thinking about how he, how he might get in trouble. You know, he's not thinking about her. He's thinking about how he might get in trouble. He's looking for the med kit, looking for the med kit, and he's not really getting it, but it's right there, you know, because he doesn't care. He doesn't care about her, and he doesn't care about uh, black people in general. I know. I know oh, one when I see one. So they go. Oh, so once he's looking, fake looking for the med kit, all the officers come. There's like 10 officers, they come up. And he tells them, oh no, only the Sarge can go inside. Cause he knew he messed up. He was like, oh no, only the Sarge go inside. We don't need y'all, you know? And at one point, I don't remember when it was, but at one point they had said something, somebody had said something to him. He was like, oh, she was a crazy She didn't do nothing, y'all. I promise you guys, she didn't do it. Go watch the video. Go watch the real video. It's on YouTube and it's from the Illinois Police Department. It's a 36 minute video where he calls her a crazy bitch. The family said that some call came in and said that she, it was self-inflicted. And they said, excuse me, deputy said, excuse me, or not deputy, but the dispatch said, excuse me. And they were like, it was self-inflicted. Somebody called and said it was self-inflicted. I don't know who. Okay, so. As other officers come and look at him, and I know they're looking at him like, dude, you are an idiot. Ain't nobody even really talking to him. And he's just walking around. 
like, hey, it was her fault. You know, she deserved it. Uh, stuff like that. Trying to make himself not feel guilty. Or I don't know what he was doing. But and deputy, deputy went to his car to, you know, wash his hands because he had blood on them. And he's just, he's crying because he had just witnessed something that I'm sure maybe he's never witnessed before. He was holding this woman. Anyway, problem is all of it. But another thing that happened when the EMS came, they didn't even work on her. So I under, I want to know why all these stank were sitting here as she was passing away, gurgling, and they were standing over her talking. This woman, imagine your last few breaths. And instead of being comforted and held and knowing that you're okay, you have people over you talking like you're already gone. She was gasping me, she was still there. Her, she was still there. And they're over her, over her talking about her. Oh, we gonna put her on the thing, we gonna do this. But she's still gasping for air. Oh, okay, I don't give a fuck. That's pretty much what they said, all of them. All of them, the EMS, everybody. Y'all was all sitting there doing nothing. And y'all let her, y'all could have at least made her feel like she was gonna be okay. You could have at least held her. The woman, I mean, all of you, it's all the same, but one of you could have at least held her hand. That's all I saw. I mean, I ain't seen nothing else. I didn't get a chance to see her father. Um, her father was talking about the situation, but he definitely said you killed the wrong black woman. And I agree. All of them are the wrong ones. But I hope her family really does. She had a 17 year old, which was her oldest, and she had a younger child. She was somebody's mom, maybe sister, daughter, aunt, niece, granddaughter. She was a human being. Sean, she was a human being. So he's being charged with first degree, which is premeditated, deliberate. <clears throat> he's being charged with official misconduct and he's being charged with aggravated battery with a firearm. He thought he was going to get off. He thought he was going to kill a black woman like most of, like a lot of them do and get away with it. But he didn't. He's 36. He was getting ready to be married to his fiance. I would love no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. We're going to let God handle him. Okay? We're going to let God handle him. But I'm tired. I know you guys are tired. And I really feel like, and I'm not trying to incite, but we can't, we can't keep letting this happen. We can't keep letting it happen. So... <laughs> Let me get off this channel right now because I don't want to, I need to, I need to just chill and not say what I, some things that I might want to say. I feel like I'm getting red, but it is hot out here. With that, I pray for Massey's children. I pray for her mother and her father, her family members and her friends. I pray for every black woman that has been hurt by anybody, but because I'm doing this video about this subject, I pray for every black woman and black man and black child that have been destroyed by someone who didn't like them because of the color of their skin. Sean, I hope you spend the rest of eternity in jail. And I do hope that you don't like it. People are getting killed for no reason. Just for being black. It's still happening. Anyway, I'm through. I do love you guys. I do respect everybody. I love everybody, any color, all colors. I love everybody. What I don't like is injustice and I will speak on it for the rest of my life. I don't do it a whole lot on here, but I will and I can. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good evening. I want you to go check that story out and I want you to follow it. Let's talk about it in the comments. Go read about the story or go watch the video before you come here. I gotta go, I'm hot and I'm full. I think I gotta do it. Bye.